Welcome to the Cardinal Sports Network's presentation of basketball at Trinity Valley Community College. We are coming to you live from Lee Osmich Court at Cardinal Gym, where this afternoon on the Cardinal Sports Network we have a Region 14 Conference double header for you, starting of course first with the women, the number two ranked Lady Cardinals taking on the Jacksonville College Lady Jaguars. The Lady Cardinals come into today's game with a 20-1 overall record, 9-0 in conference. They have a two-game lead in the conference. Jacksonville comes in at 4-15. Overall, and three and six in conference play. I am Benny Rogers, the sports information officer here at the college, and I'm joined, like always, by my buddy Tim Howard. And Tim, as we move into the, looking at today's game, it's kind of a question: is who is playing and who's not playing in this game? Exactly, exactly. As you were talking about uh, before, we cracked the mic to get on this afternoon. Cardinals, Lady Cardinals, only going to have seven suited up today. The salty seven, we hope. The salty <laughs> seven. That's got a nice ring to it as they're making their way onto the floor right now. Uh, but Jacksonville's going to add a piece to the element that wasn't available the last time yeah, out. Yeah, the, the Lady Cardinals won the first meeting 90-46 to 46 in December over in Jacksonville. But in that game, Kalea Burrell, their leading player, did not play. She's averaging 18.6 points. 4.4 assists and has 43 three-pointers. So that's a big piece of the puzzle that's back for the Lady Jags. They didn't have the first time around. Meanwhile, the Lady Cardinals, as we saw in our last webcast, lost uh, to, to, to Yana Jackson and uh, Asia Strong to ankle injuries, and they're not as available today. So the Lady Cardinals with only seven players suited up. Yeah, they went down a week ago in that uh, game right here uh, against Bozier Parish. Uh, high ankle sprain and, and just uh, being very cautious. So good good that they do have the depth and should be able to, to, to bring it. But that seven is going to have to, as you say, be salty, be ready to go. And kind of keeping with our theme for the day of who's here and who's not here, Savannah Don Carter, the the Lady Jag coach, is having to miss today's game. So in her stead will be Kaylin Boyd, who will be taking over for the Lady Jags. But Savannah plays, of course, on our 19, on our 2013 national championship team for Elena Lovato squad. And on the Lady Carter bench for the first time this season will be Eddie Kite, the former Panola head coach. He's an assistant coach now for Precious Ivy. So he's been in practice for the last couple of weeks, but today's his first game and he's eligible to be back. So we're good to be, be good to see Eddie on the bench and be able to root for him and not root against him. <laughs> yeah, and that's the truth. We had the uh, conversation a little bit ago about, uh, you know, about uh, Precious. And, uh, Coach, you look good in Cardinal Red and can say the same about uh, Coach Kite in, in that uh, TBCC logo. Glad Absolutely. to have him on board. Absolutely. So it's going to be a fun day here at Cardinal Gym. And like I mentioned, on the women, on the men's game today, it's a big game between the Cardinals and Navarro. And that'll draw a big crowd because there'll be a big Navarro crowd coming over. And both cheer squads will be here, and they've each got about 30 kids. And the band's here, the cardettes here, the fans are here. This place is going to be rocking and rolling by the time we get to that second game this afternoon. Should be but, a lot of fun. But in this first game, as we've talked before on, on paper, sometimes with Lady Cardinal basketball, it looks like a mismatch. But we know games aren't played on paper. And certainly with the Lady Cardinals only having seven players, that does kind of add a little, a, tr a little bit of intrigue to the matchup as you look at the conference standings. Too. Yeah, Region 14 Women's Conference standings. You have Trinity Valley up top at that 9-0 uh, and conference mark, 20-1 and overall, the number two team in the nation. Uh, and so they got a little bit of a, a edge there over TJC. Uh, and that comes at a good point with a couple of players out today, as we just mentioned. But just a, a lot of strong competition all the way up and down and we'll uh, see uh, the best Jacksonville has to offer today. I, you know you come in, you're ready to go at Trinity Valley. So looking forward to that one. As uh, we exchange pleasantries here at uh, Cardinal Gym on the campus of Trinity Valley in Athens, Texas. Welcome to the broadcast. And we're about ready to turn it over to Harold Jones, the public address announcer here at Leon's Christian Court at Cardinal Gym for the introduction of the national anthem and the introduction of the starting lineups. And then we'll be underway for you here today. We got two for you. We got two for you again next Saturday when the uh, Lady Cardinals will be at home against uh, Panola and the men are at home against Oh, I'm struggling now as I'm thinking, thinking out loud, thinking out loud. I've got my schedule Vinny, here somewhere. I know you do. But I'm beyond here. basketball in a non-conference game. I knew it wasn't a conference. Beyond opponent. basketball, yes, yeah. yes. So that'll that'll be a, a good one to to see. And speaking of those guys, they uh, they had a battle the other night against Tyler Junior College. We'll get into that after this one. So 
Yeah, yeah no doubt about it. They beat, lost to Tyler 110 to 106 in double overtime, taking the number eight team in the nation, like I said, two double overtime. But now we're all about the women, and we're about to turn it over to Harold Jones. We'll have the national anthem and the starting lineups. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Leon Spencer Court at the Cardinal Gym for this afternoon's matchup featuring the Jacksonville Jaguars and your Trinity Valley Lady Cards. At this time, would you please stand and all gentlemen, please remove your hats for the playing of the national anthem by the TVCC Cardinal Regiment. Gardner Regiment playing the national anthem, and now we'll have the introduction of the starting lineups for both teams. And now the starting lineup for the Jags. From Waco, Texas, number five, Kalia Burrell. Burrell's averaging 18.6 points, 4.4 points. From Sealy, Texas, number 10, corners. Michaela Black. <laughs> From Harbors Island, Bahamas, number 11, Kyla Higgs. <laughs> From Cleveland, Texas, number 15, Nakendra Ellis. <laughs> and from Kaufman, Texas, number 34, Kayla Sellers. Head coach of the Jags is Savannah Carter, assistant coach, Kaylin Boyd. Now for the Lady Cardinals, 21 overall, 9-0 in conference play. And now the starting lineup for your Lady Cardinals. All seven of them. <laughs> A 5-7 freshman the guys from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Eight, eight, number 15, Kaylin. <laughs> Hayes averaging 11.6 points, 3.9 rebounds, and 3.6 assists. A 5'10 sophomore from Monroe, Louisiana, number 20, Curtisia Dean. New News averaging 18.4 points, 5.1 rebounds, and has hit 33 points. A 5'7 freshman from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma, number 22, KK Furman. KK's averaging 7.1 points, 3.9 assists. A 5'9 freshman from Fort Smith, Arkansas, number 23, Taya Douglas. Taya's averaging 13.6 points and has 79 three-pointers on the and season. A 5'9 California, Jane's getting her first start of the season today, averaging 2.4 points. Lady Cardinals, Lady Cardinals are coached by Precious Ivy in her first year, and she's got a 5-0 record since taking Janelle. over five games ago. Up set for this one, Benny. I'm looking forward to seeing how they start out. Different uh, rotation here and uh, get get off to a good start here at Trinity Valley. And in a perfect world, the Lady Cardinals would hope this game is not tightly called because there's not a lot of depth on the bench. There's only two players on the bench, and you're next on the bench, and you have zero eligibility left. Uh, you know, and everyone in this gym is excited about that. And, Preci and Precious has zero interest in you. <laughs> thank, you for, <laughs> thank you for stating the obvious, Captain. Um, the, uh, the Cardinals, though, definitely want to stay out of foul trouble. If you're Jacksonville, though, you want to pound it, try and get them in trouble and uh, get into 
into that exact situation. Jane Rogers with your play-by-play. -play. Thank you, Tim Howard. Jane Jane will jump for the Lady Cardinals. Jane Gray, and we are about underway here at Leon's Special Court at Cardinal Gym. Tip is controlled by the Lady Carters. Nunu gives it off to Kay Clark. Kay Clark lays it up. Can't get it to fall. Rebound by Jane. And there's a foul underneath. Go the, go the other way. Not what you want to see. The foul's going to go against uh, Jane Garay. Her first. Yeah, and the, the, the unfortunate thing about that was they had points at point blank range and they did not capitalize. Absolutely. So the Lady Carters will come down working against. Uh, Burrell today is expected to be Kay Clark. Kay, of course, is the Lady Cardinals best defensive player. Look how she's guarding her across the way, denying her the ball. But nevertheless, wow. Burrell gets away from her and gets the first points on the board for the Lady Jags. 2-0 yeah. Jacksonville. How about that? You talk about working away with away from the ball. She found a way to get that ball and score off that. Douglas for three. Taya Douglas for three. That was her 80th on the season, Tim. Nicely done to get this points started for the uh, Lady Cards. Tim, keep an eye on Kay Clark versus Burrell in the corner. I mean, she is all over her. Of course, Burrell won Working. the first matchup. Shots up, no good. Rebound is controlled by the Lady Cardinals. Kay Clark, she gives it up to Douglas. Douglas to KK. KK gives it up in the corner to Nunu. Nice fake. Nunu with a baseline jumper, can't get to fall. Air ball, rebounded by the Lady Jags, number 10. Black and the Lady Jags on the move. Yeah, if you keep the ball out of Burrell, Burrell's hands, she can't score, so a uh, great D to start it. Lady Jags slow it down now in their half court offense. Being very deliberate, shot clock at five. Shot is up and it will not fall. Foul called underneath. This was going to go against the Lady Jags. It's going to go against number 34. It's going to be her first. Kayla Sailors, the freshman out of uh, Kaufman, Texas. Lady Cardinals leading by 3-2 count early on. Yeah, I got her on the reach over the top there. So that's, uh, so far we've seen a couple of quick fouls here in the first minute and a half. They are calling it closely. I've come to the conclusion we're going to have to watch the game by the monitor when the ball's on this end. <laughs> Held ball is going to be a, going to go in possession wow. of the uh, Lady Jags. A great job of defending that time by the Lady Jags. Uh, and Kayla there got her hands on that. Nunu, yeah, Nunu got a little careless with the ball there and didn't protect it. So we'll take advantage of that. The first meeting for the lady in this, again, Asia Strong had 16 points against uh, Jacksonville. Of course, she's not at the disposal today, so she's not around. Three-pointer is up. It is in and out. Rebound is fought far and goes out of bounds off of Jacksonville. That's going to go off of number 34, Sellers. First sub of the game is Solmania Herrera is going to check in for Talia Douglas. So Soli's going to get her first action of the game. Soli comes in averaging 2.8 points, but had a pretty good game the last game we saw last Saturday. Yeah, she did, and she wants to build on that here in the early going of this uh, first half. Hey, Clark with the jumper, one-handed, can't get it to fall. Rebound is controlled by number 10, Michaela Black. Tanaya Jackson's going to check into the contest. Shot is up, and it is no good. Rebound fought for by Soli, and it's going to go out of bounds off of Jacksonville. Taya Douglas is also going to check back into the game. So Precious doesn't have but a couple of players that she can ro rotate in and out, but she's going to do, be very liberal at doing that and get them in and out pretty quick, it looks like. I was going to say, that's uh, going to be the telltale sign of this one is, is depth down the stretch and how, how you can maneuver that. Good entry level. Good pass inside to Soli, and Soli puts it up in a nice shot by KK of spotting Soli underneath. Two yeah. points for Soli. Great assist from KK. Good court awareness, found the player streaking to the basket. Almost coming away with the steal of Lady Cardinals. Jumpers up and it is in, knocks it down. Number 15, very nice shot. Ellis. KK gives it up to KK. 
gives it up to KK. KK puts up the shot. KK knocks <laughs> it. There's, there's too many Ks on the floor. I was going to say, uh, uh, the execution mode was still flawless. So you get that pass back, knock it down. Now, I will say, KK had 16 the last time against uh, Jacksonville. That was her first game starting it after Tanaya's injury. Good block underneath. All balling. Here come the Lady Cards. K puts up the jumper. Strong. No good. Re Jane's battling, I must check that, Taya Douglas is battling for the rebound underneath. Oh, that's a tough foul. <laughs> tough, tough foul that you're going to, some player's about to get. Oh, no doubt. They're that's both gonna, going. going to get Burrell. That's a tough Ooh. call there. She's, she's trying to, <laughs> she's looking around like, that's on me. <laughs> wow. Yeah, that's a tough one to have to deal with, but uh, both going for the ball. She'll inbound underneath. Douglas puts up the jumper. This nice. is for two. Toed on the line there. To Put it down though, nice extension. Good start for the Lady Cards, up five. Douglas now with five points in the contest. Nunu about to check back in. Burrell has her shot blocked. Gonna have a reach in foul, I think that's gonna go against Kay Clark. Yeah, they're gonna get her on the. So two fouls now against the Lady Cardinals, Ooh. team fouls, both teams for two team fouls. Kay Clark picks up her first. She's going to go to the bench and catch a breather. I'm guessing probably Nunu will now battle against Burrell. You take a look at that, and uh, she's done a good job, she, you know, denying the basketball. 9-4 Lady Cardinals, 6-0-1 left in this first quarter. Jumper is up off the side of the rim by Burrell. Kind of frustrated. We have a held ball. This one should go to the Lady Cards. Yeah, that is exactly what's going to happen. So the Lady Cards inbounding and chance to build on a seven-point lead here in the uh, first part of the first quarter. So Douglas is the inbounds to Tanaya Jackson. Jackson is now directing the offense. And Kayla Furman has moved over to the shooting guard position. Of course, Tanaya is a starting point to start the season, but has an injury. And so, oh, nice pass underneath by KK. This time, Soli can't handle it but it does go out of bounds off of the Jacksonville player. Yeah, so a good break there, but uh, good vision to spot the open player. That's, that's twice now KK spotted solely underneath. He's got great, great laser focus there to see that. Give it to her! Just a little too hot to KK handle. for three, up and no good. Solely with the rebound, solely with the putback, and solely puts it in. Wonderful job underneath, gets the offensive board and the putback. So Solomina Herrera is really answering the challenge here today of having to play extended time, and she now has four points in the contest. Well, that's weak defense there by the Lady Cardinals. Good job by uh, Higgs. Yeah, Higgs just determined to get to the basket, finished. Douglas for three. Taya Douglas for three. Count that, nice job on the left arc, knocks it down. Eight point advantage, Trinity Valley. Hey, you get on five with Tanaya on 11. Tanaya is now working against Burrell. Burrell puts up a three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound's going to go to Nunu. Tim Howard called a travel on that one. Yeah, Douglas puts up the jumper. Can't get it to fall. Long rebound's going to be controlled by the Lady Jag Sellers. Well, you see why I don't have a whistle, though. <laughs> so uh, see if they can regroup here. But one thing about Morell's, you know, being denied, so when she does get an open shot, she's working hard to get the ball, and that can take an impact as well. That jumper's up and no good. Rebound is controlled by KK. Lady Cards on the run. Give it up to Nunu. Nunu lays it up. Nunu can't get to fall, but she does draw the foul. Great body control by Nunu. Yeah, going to be a uh, whistle there. Nakendra Ellis out of Cleveland. Whistled for the foul coming, so Nunu going to the free throw line. Nunu, and we're going to have our media nice. timeout, I'm guessing, here at the 411 mark. So we'll step away, catch our breath, and rejoin you on the other side of this media timeout. Lady Cards up 14 6.
And we are back coming out of the media timeout. The Lady Cardinals up 14-6 with 4-11 left here in this uh, first quarter. At the free throw line, shooting two for the Lady Cards will be Nunu Dean. I am Benny Rogers along with Tim Howard bringing today's game on the Cardinal Sports Network. First free throw attempt is up and good, Tim. That free throw, uh, that media timeout comes at a great time when you're working with just seven players, not to diminish the, the you know, the wherewithal of the Lady Cards. I mean, they, they can go, but... And as I say that, she missed the second free throw. Misses the second free throw, solely battles for the rebound. It'll be a held ball, and it will go to the Lady Jacks. Nunu now with her first point in the contest. The first game around against uh, the Lady Jacks, she had 11 points. You would think she needs more than that today for the Lady Carters to win this one. Yeah, kind of a slow, slow effort for her that first time out from what we've seen historically from her. Excellent player. Jumpers up. Jumper can't get the roll, battle, rebound goes to Kay Clark. Kay on the move, Kay lays it up, Kay can't get it to fall. Nunu battles for the rebound, instead it's controlled by the Lady Jags. Lady Jags on the run, Burrell. Jumper, three pointer on the way, no good. Rebound is controlled by Kay Clark, but solely kept it alive. Well done. Tanaya lays it up, and Tanaya can't get it to fall, but she's going to draw the foul. Boy, she took a shot there. Good to see her bounce up because you're already working with a limited roster. And she's 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 playing with injury with a disc problem in her back, so that's why she has missed so many games this season. Tough is uh, they come though as she showed a little grimace as she looked back to coach, but not going to show it to her counterparts out there. Tanai is a 5'5 freshman out of San Antonio, Texas. Averaging 7.2 points, 3.9 rebounds, and 4.1 assists for the Lady Carters. Much of that was early in the season before she started battling this injury that she's dealing with right now. So nine point advantage, 326 to go in this first quarter. You want to build on that. Free throw is bounced off the back of the iron. Lady Carter's got to shore up that free throw shooting percentage. They're 67%, which is not terrible, but they're not shooting that right now. Yeah, they, they missed back to back shots uh, at the line here. And second one rattles in and out. Mm. So a break for the Lady Jags. Continue to work. Knocked it away. Kay Clark. And Kay Clark's the she's the best defensive player that we've had to come through here in a while now. I am telling she you, is she is working. the real deal. She is working. And you know, a lot of times that's kind of that unsung hero role, you know. But she gets out there and gets it done. And uh, when you're stopping a leading score, you're adding points. You might as well be putting points on the other end, because that's definitely what she's doing. It's gonna be the double bonus. Double bonus now for the uh, Lady Cards, that's five team fouls against Jacksonville at the 308 mark. So the Lady Cardinals will be shooting free throws the rest of the way. So going to the free throw line will be Kay Clark. And the second foul here in the ball game for Burrell. And Kay Clark knocks that first one down. That's her first point of the contest. In the first meeting, Kay Clark had 11 points. She now has two in this one, both at the free throw line. But she's doing a great job against Burrell because other than Burrell beating her on the opening possession that Jacksonville had, Burrell has been shut out. And I'm still impressed Burrell beat her on that opening possession because we saw for about 20 seconds she was working it. Did you mention that Burrell has two fouls now? So she's, fouls. she's not in the contest. So that hurts the Lady Jags calls, of course. Jumpers up and no good. Rebound is controlled by the Lady Jags. They kick it out front. Three-pointer on the way, can't get it to fall, and Taya Douglas pulls a rebound. Kay Clark running the show. I'm sorry, KK. I'm going to get my K's correct here at some moment. I'm about to find a nickname for Kay Clark. <laughs> KC, maybe. Uh, everybody's KC these days, uh, at least until tomorrow. That's, I'll tell you this. Uh, I'll tell you. Very nice, Tim. Thank very you. nice. Very nice. Do what I can do. Uh, I'll tell you, though, I've been just thoroughly impressed with the uh, defense of the Lady Cards, those uncontested shots are so much easier than when you got a hand in the face or you're, or you're even denying the ball. And that's what they're doing here in the opening quarter of play. KK hit the first free throw. She's got three points in the contest. Now she has four. Lady Cardinals have a 19-6 advantage at the 227 mark. And 
Kalea Burrell, the leading scorer for the Lady Jags, is on the bench with two fouls in the first quarter. Great job of the Lady Jags of moving the ball. Great job of defense, wow. but that time by Taya Douglas. Douglas getting it done on the defensive end. We, you know, we've talked about defense. They have really come out sharp and focused on the defensive yeah. side. Precious Ivy's got to feel real good about what she's seeing from her squad today with just seven players suited up. Yeah, working hard in the early going. We've talked about it before, Benny. They, they can light it up in a hurry. Nunu gives it up to Soli. Great job by Nunu of finding Soli underneath. So if they can finish this last two minutes strong, this quarter could really, you're up 15. You could really pull away in the early going. Good ball movement. Yeah, I've been impressed with the way the Jacksonville's moved the ball around. The Lady Carter's just not leaving many creases to penetrate. Seven on the shot clock. They're going to throw it away. That's a great defensive. They're going to have a tip, tip ball. Longtime official Donnie Elliott's going to see that and he's going to overrule the initial call. Donnie's, I think this is his 31st year officiating, he told me. He's, he's seen a few tips in his day. <laughs> in his day. That was a good call. I, I thought it was, I saw a deflection as well. I did too. Of course, I still don't have a whistle, and that's a good thing. We're going to keep it that way. Five <laughs> seconds on the shot clock. Close out strong here. Three-pointer blocked by Nunu. Ooh. That's good and defense. Now, that's great defense. That's a great defensive set right there by the Lady Cardinals. How about it? That looks like the number two team in the nation right there, playing that kind of defense. You love it. Uh, shot clock violation. Of course, also Nunu lights it up and showing, hey, I can play the D as well. Of course, it'll be interesting to see how uh, Jacksonville coach Kaylin Boyd, how long she keeps Burrell out of the contest. She typically likes to save a player with three fouls for the second half. I don't know that she's got that luxury today. Probably not. Nunu lays it up and can't get it to fall, but draws the foul. Nunu is so good off that dribble off the wing. Oh, super fast and then great agility in the air, ball control, can, or can control a body in the air, get to almost a three-point play. Nunu went one for two her last time at the free throw line, and she's got the one point in the contest. Gets this one to go. Two points in the contest now for Nunu. Returning All-American last year as a freshman. And she gets the second to fall. Nice job coming through at the free throw line. 23-6, Lady Cardinals coming up on a minute left in the first quarter. Soli grabs a rebound. Soli gives it up to KK. KK on the attack. KK kicks it out to Nunu. Nunu tries to find Taya Douglas at the top. There's Kay Clark to save the loose ball. Lady Carter's going to reset the offense. I like it. We got time. Score, Nunu, score. Five on the shot clock. Nunu for three. Can't get it to fall. Kay Clark with the rebound. Kay Clark with oh, the putback. Yeah. Working hard underneath. Gets the rebound and the putback. So impressed with this Lady Cardinal first quarter, Tim. So impressed. Absolutely. Uh, you come in, you're undermanned roster-wise. Three-pointer on the way. No good. They said it was a two-pointer. Got time. Kay Clark's going to lay it up, and Kay Clark is going to wow. lay it in. That's a great finish. We talked about, hey, finish the last two minutes strong. They did. Up 21. Into one, folks. 27-6 Lady Cardinals. We will step away and rejoin you as the second quarter gets underway.
Welcome back to Leon Spencer Court at Cardinal Gym. And if you missed our first quarter, folks, you missed a wow quarter, according to Tim Howard and I, <laughs> defensively for the Lady Cardinals. That was just a great job of defending, Tim. That was double wow in my book. Uh, yeah, we, we don't want to overstate the obvious, but when you got a seven-man seven, ro seven man rotation, you got to have everybody firing on all cylinders, and they come out rip-roaring. Great start for the Lady Cards. And we will know that Burrell is not on the floor for the Lady Jags. Their leading scorer picked up two fouls in the first quarter. has been on the bench ever since. And KK is going to turn the ball over on the first possession. That's one of those uh, little KK, head big job there. Go and uh, they got her on the, the carry. A little Tim Howard in her there. Yeah, I shouldn't have showed her that move before the game. <laughs> that's why they try to keep me away from the players. Lady Jags has been very patient with their offense. A great job on the That's motion offense take. of spinning and driving by number 15. Number 15, Ellis. Kendra Ellis. And McKendra does a good job to get to the glass. Good things happen. KK with the pull-up jumper. It's going to draw the foul. And get Higgs on the uh, whistle the there as she's called for Higgs. the reach. Got her and sending her to the free KK. throw line. KK steps to the free throw line with four points in the contest, two on free throws. Ah, that was poorly shot there. Now that one wasn't rolling for her there. And she corrects the problem and gets the second one to fall. Lady Cardinals will try to keep working on the defensive end, but the Jags did a late, great job the last time down with their motion offense. Move the ball around this time, get the jumper. Nice job of moving the ball around and finding the open. Jump was good for Claire and Kayla Higgs. Higgs. Kyla, Higgs. Kyla got that uh, open shot and took advantage of it. Lady Cardinals being very patient. Jane Gray back on the floor for the Lady Cards. 10 on the shot clock. Got a foul out front. It's going to go against number 15, Jane Ellis. Ellis charge number 15, Ellis. Lady That's her second. Substitution. Yeah, they, they don't want to get into a free throw shooting contest for sure because those are easy points. As we saw in the last two minutes of that first quarter, Freddie Valley was in the bonus, double bonus. Nunu for three. Curticia Dean for three. Dean. Puts it through. Nice job. Good open court. Shot steps into it. Knocks it down. In the first meeting between these two, the Lady Cardinals led at halftime 46 to 16. Good Great block. block by Soli. Soli getting up and making her presence known. Great three-on-one drive by the Lady Cards. And uh, just love that. That is great work up and down the floor. Time Taya Douglas finishes a 3-1 break. So we're going to take a timeout. We'll have a media timeout with a 23-point advantage here, 8.08 to go. We'll keep it here and just talk a little bit about this with Tim. The Lady Cardinals are getting everything out of this when they need. They've avoided the early foul trouble like they had to do, and they've built a comfortable lead. So now then if the fouls do happen to start adding up, you've got a little bit of luxury of being able to work around that. Yeah, and that, that's something you can work with. It's something you can deal with. And something else we're seeing out of this Lady Cardinal team that has not necessarily been the case this year for the most part is a strong first half like this. Yeah, and I, I think that's to be uh, something that we need to really, you know, admonish because, you know, it would be easy to lose kind of focus, if you will. They've come out laser focused and said, hey, here's what we got to do to be successful with the setup we're dealt with today with a couple of injuries. And they've made the most of it and, and they're are looking good in front of the home fans today. And the thing about it is, with Tyler having lost to Panola Wednesday night, 80 to 62 over at Wagstaff Gym, Lady Cardinals woke up the next morning with a two-game lead in the conference, which gives you some margin for error within the conference, but it doesn't give you margin for error nationally in the national rankings. And you mentioned it before the game, they've moved all the way up to the number two spot. So that's a great, great spot to be in and uh, expecting this team to make a serious run down the stretch. Back to play, 33-10 Lady Cardinals. Long rebound is controlled by number 11, Kyla Higgs. She's directing the offense now for the Lady Jags. 
Long range baseline jumper, no good, but rebound is fought for by Kay Clark. What Cage is having a heck of a game. Clark, a freshman out of Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Kay with the drive, she gives it up to Dish. Soli and finds Soli, and Soli can't finish it off. It's going to go out of bounds off Lady Jackson. My goodness, Soli's done a great job underneath today. Yeah, she has. She had a, a had one there. You saw her like, I can't believe I got that one. I missed that one, but like you said, she's playing strong underneath. Gives, gives it up to Soli inside. Going to be a held ball. This possession is going to go to the Lady Jags. Oh, she's going to free throw line. No, no. You'll be the comeback. They called the, they, no, she it was thought a, it was just five. It, it, right, it was right. a held ball. It was a held ball. She was moving ready to get some free throws in there. Good D, though, to get a hand on the ball. Jacksonville immediately goes back to their motion offense. Get the block by Soli. Soli playing strong on the baseline. Kay Clark with a spinning move, lays it up, can't get to fall. Soli battles with a rebound and outlets to Taya Douglas. Taya thought about the three, gives it up to Soli. Soli makes a move down low, throws up a wild shot that time. There's no other way to describe that. Yeah, she's a little out of control on that for sure. Soli may be getting a little bit tired now. She's been very active. Very much so, working hard. Three-pointer on the way, no good, in and out. Rebound fought for, controlled by number 15, and the put back by number 20. Baseball pass down the floor. Taya Douglas has fouled shooting three, and she will shoot three free throws instead. Jacksonville, when they come pass back and look at the tape on the other end, they're going to recognize, man, we had one pass too many, and it cost them because they, gave, Go ahead, Tim, they gave the Cardinals a chance to get underneath and, and re rebound, and then the baseball pass, and here we are on the other end. And the Kendra Ellis has just picked up her third foul now. She's been a very active part of this Jacksonville attack. So with Burrell on the bench and now Ellis on the bench, that is really going to limit to what the, the firepower that Kellen Boyd has to put on the floor. That's some tough, tough rows to hoe here to bring it back. I mean, you're looking at a 24-point deficit. Douglas knocks down the first uh, free throw. She's got two more to come. She's got 11 points in the contest. Mm, back to back. Can she go for the three peats? I think so. Unless you just jinxed her. Uh, did I say that? We'll edit that yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's out there, Tim. I, I think you're right. Oh, my goodness. That's Tim Howard, folks. I'll give you his email. Don't give me the email. Right. I was going to say, no emails, please. Oh, my goodness. 35-10, Lady Cards. Almost, almost. Almost a steal for Jane. Great defensive effort we've seen here in the first half by the Lady Cards. Definitely working hard. Jumpers up and can't get it to fall, and Nunu pulls a rebound. Nunu on the attack. Nunu gives it up to Douglas. Douglas for three. Can't get it to fall. They're solely for the rebound. She misses the putback, and the rebound goes to the Lady Jags. Well, Soli's had a lot of opportunities down low, but that means she's working hard down low. She's getting free. Yeah, she is doing that. She's uh, and you wonder about how much fatigue she. Like you said, she's she's playing a lot of a lot of minutes today, she's working hard underneath. Lady Cardinals are working really hard on the defensive end. I've been very impressed. And there's a silly little foul there by Nunu. Yeah, she's she she knows. She said, "I reached. They got me." That's Nunu's first foul. Team first in the. Uh, uh, Sergeant number twenty. Second quarter, KK is going to check back into the contest for Soli. So as Tim, what is one of the great things to see is we let the game unfold in front of us. It's great to see the Lady Cardinals give this effort with their some of their size not on the floor today. Absolutely, they're finding another way. You don't want to say small ball, but they are finding a way to get it done and working hard on the defensive end to do it. Taya Douglas pulls the rebound. Lady Cards on the move. KK lays it up. KK can't get it to foul. Jane battles with a rebound, and Jane's going to pick up her second foul. Soli's going to go back into the contest. So quick with that step, man, and just couldn't finish it. But she gets around a defender in a nanosecond. So Soli into the game for Jane. Soli comes back into the game with six points, Tim. Yeah, and as you as you look and stop, stop, just catch the body language some of these days. You see kind of that, how, how hard they are working out there. It's, oh, they uh, definitely are. They are definitely giving it all they got. Pull up jumper, knocks it down, number 20, her first points of the contest, Shania Clauser. Kay Clark 
penetrates the defense, is going to draw the foul. That'll be the fourth team foul against the uh, Lady Jags at the 456 mark. So they picked up their fifth team foul in the first quarter at about the five minute mark, and Lady Cardinal shot a lot of free throws. Yeah, they're going to have maybe another opportunity to do just that. Taya Douglas forces up a shot, and the foul's going to go against Soley. Now, that's the thing about the Lady Cardinals. You don't want to start picking up the little tic-tac fouls like that because they will eventually add up and cause you some issues and some grief. That uh, could definitely change the, uh, the structure of this bargain. 4.46, 35-12, Lady Cards. They led 27-6 at the end of the first quarter. Jacksonville's been very good at running their offense today. Just the Lady Cardinals have given them very little breathing room. That three-pointer's no good. Nunu controls the rebound. Come. Nunu stops and pops. Yes, she does, and draws the foul. Boy, that's a dagger. If you're trying to defend that, then you foul, and they hey. still knock it hey. down. Add insult to injury with a rebound on the other end, turns and burns and finishes. It's just hard to find much fault with the way the Lady Cardinals have played this first quarter and a half, Tim. Uh, exactly. They've really stepped up and delivered and continuing you know, to have that focus. As I mentioned in the first meeting, it was 46 to 16 at halftime. And 37-12, we're above that average right now at the rate it's going. She missed the free throw. I'm gonna go ahead and give your email. No, I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> and so there's a foul against KK out front. It's just, that's just a lazy foul there. That's yeah, her that's first. I don't know if our mics picked it up. I heard it. Uh, can't touch all day, every day. Coach, coaching them up. <laughs> Running jumper on the way. Soley grabs a rebound, flat footed, and throws it away. Two on one by the Lady Jags, and they do complete it. Nice job by the Lady Jags, 24. And Nakia Kelly there out of uh, Malakoff to put that one through. I recognize that hometown. 37 to 14, 349. Lady Carters, you don't want to finish ragged. KK lays it up, KK lays it in off the drive. She had a very good game doing that the first time around against the uh, Lady Jags in the 90 to 46 win by the Lady Cards. Absolutely, and it's a great, great uh, step again. Get to the basket. Burrell's back into the contest and Kay Clark says, I will take that <laughs> shot and deposit over in Troy Scott's lap on the first row. Uh, you, you know, you've heard of Splash Zone at San Antonio SeaWorld. Well, Boy. he's in Splash Zone right there with that <laughs> rejection. Great job by Soli of getting a piece on that ball. And I know it goes out of bounds off of Soli, but that's a great job that shows she's up in the passing lane playing what she's supposed to be playing. Good, good effort. Boy, that was going to go out of bounds off of. I think it was off of, uh, let's see. No. <laughs> Pretty Valley, I was on K, I guess. Boy, they're working hard. Deny, deny, deny the basketball. I was just laughing at the exchange between Precious Ivy and Donnie Elliott, the uh, official. Uh, it's, I love our closeness to the game sometimes. sometimes. I love it. I love Burrell it. with the baseline drive, lays it up wildly, can't get the ball. Nunu with the rebound, looking for someone to outlet. Instead, takes it herself. Nunu with the stopper, can't get the ball. Rebound's going to be controlled by Douglas. Douglas for three from the corner, no good. No, Soli. And Soli's going to pick up the foul. That's going to be the second team foul against Soli. She's going to be the first player on the Lady Cardinals roster with two fouls Soli. at the 254 mark. But that's, again, one of those that you wish you could have back. Yeah, it's, you know, it, it's one of those things where you know even as you're doing it. <laughs> and then that whistle blows. She knew it as your, soon as she did it. Your body will not listen to your mind. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes. Burrell goes to the free throw line. Burrell's got two points in the contest, the very first possession for the Lady Jags. She came in averaging 18.6, did not play in the first meeting with the Lady Cards. And the second one falls, and now the Lady Jags have their point output that they had against Lady Cards the first time around. 
KK with the three, no good. You just can't come down and get a possession like that. You gotta work the ball. Almost 16 minutes in between her last points. I mean, that, and granted, she's on the bench a little bit, but a lot of that has to do with the defensive effort of the cards from the leading scorer. McGee directing the offense, gives it up down low to number 20. It's turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound is controlled by Burrell, and she's going to draw the foul. Let's go against Kay Clark. That's going to be two now against Kay. So now that you're, if you're precious, you've got to get somebody off the floor because you've got to save Kay with three fouls in the uh, second half. Second half, yeah. yeah. Benny's coming through and Echo. As, I mean, I don't think that's a bad thing. Free throw is good. Uh, let's continue on here with the score 39-17. Second one short. Free throw attempt is no good. They outlet to KK. KK slows things down. Again, you want to close out this half strong. Finish it good. Going to go out of bounds off of Nunu. Getting a little sloppy here now at the end of this. Uh, yeah, and that's that's one first of the first half where you you stop and think about you played so well the first you know 18 minutes of this half. Finish this last two real strong. Go into halftime not on a downward spiral. Well, you don't want to give Jacksonville any hope going into the second half. You want to keep them kind of beat down. Three pointers up. And she banks it in off the top of the glass. <laughs> Number three, McGee. And just like that, it's a 19-point game. Yeah, she's she's daring someone to say, say I didn't call glass. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't right say now. it. I didn't say it either. I recognize that look. Kay with the pull-up jumper is going to be short. Rebound is going to go to Jacksonville. Jackson is going to end the half on a run. And that's going to be three fouls now oh. against Kay. Yeah, that's Not what you wanted to see. That's one of those things you can ill advise. You got a comfortable lead here, but you don't want to get into a foul trouble situation. You now got three in the first half. Yeah, just like that, the whole so the whole momentum and the swing of the mood of the game can change here because you're Jacksonville. You're going to be within maybe 15 points at the half possibly. And that, as far as you were down in this contest, that's a that's a plus for you. And you're you're working with a team that's already got seven man roster. If you can get one of them foul out, then you're really, you know, make it difficult. And but she misses both free throws and the rebound's going to go to KK. KK's going to be fouled in the backcourt. That will send KK to the free throw line at the 121 mark. 39-20 Lady Cards. Smart move by KK on that sideline. I mean, she just found a way to get up the up the sideline and draw the foul. I mean, let's not kid ourselves. The Lady Cardinals aren't in trouble on no. the scoreboard, but it's just the perception of the game and your, your confidence factor sure. and how quickly it just goes to show you how quickly the, the things can change, the outlook of the game can change. KK knocks down the first free throw. KK now with... Uh, Eight points Jane. in the contest. Jane. Lady Carters have doubled the lead now, 40 to 20. They led 46 to 16 in the first meeting down in Jacksonville and wound up winning that one, 90 to 46. And a few minutes ago when we were talking, I thought, well, they're going to blow through that 46, you know, by half. And now they're going to have to work to get to it. It's just like that. So it's a game of uh, ebb and flow, isn't it? Momentum comes and goes. Soli's the only player on the floor for the Lady Cards now with with two fouls, so she's got to be real careful in this final 108. Want to save her to have three fouls in that second half, of course. And just like I said it, she picks up her third foul. You know, she's a shot blocker, but when you got two at this point in the game, you you got to go straight up. You got to be smart. You got to go up straight. You got to be smart. I think you got to get her off the floor now with 101. Coach is uh, shot on the way. Boy, they have not helped themselves they, at the free throw they line. They have not. That's three straight now that they've missed, and that's at the free throw line is McGee, number three. So Soldi's got to be real careful. She don't want to pick up four fouls. I hope Precious knows that she's got three fouls here in this final minute. KK gives it up Yik. to Taya Douglas for three. Can't get it to fall. Rebound goes to Nunu. Nunu tries to put up a shot, but instead he's going to draw the foul. 
Love her energy, man. She's she's a bulldog down in the paint. Gets that ball and is driving to the basket. Shot on the way. So just stand there. So good, good opportunity here to, to finish out for Nunu. Gets two at the free throw she line. She makes both of them. Nunu now with 10 points in the contest. She had 11 the first time out against Jacksonville. Uh, this possession here may not look like much, but I think Soli's got to be real careful and not pick up that fourth foul here got two. in this final minute. I think I would have had her off the floor. I know I would have had her off the floor. Because they're definitely going to attack. There's a three-pointer on the way. No good. Rebound's going to go to the Lady Jags. Burrell. And there's going to be a foul call down low. I think they're fortunate they don't get it too deep in there against her. That's going to go against Jane. Oh, sorry. Taya Douglas, that's going to be her second team foul, her second personal foul. Those fouls starting to mount up for the cards here. They'll have one shot left here in the uh, first half, or set it up for one. Burrell knocks down the bucket, uh, free throw. She's got three points, four points, I think, now in the contest. Thank you, scoreboard. She's got six points in the contest. My bad. They've held her far below her average so far. Yeah, they have. They've... Lady Carter's going to play for the final shot. Give it up to Nunu down low. Nunu tries to give it up across court. It's going to go out of bounds off Lady Jags. 4.7 seconds left in the first half. 43-21 Lady Cards. You got time to get a good shot here if you can draw it up, see what they're going to run here. But 4.7, that's still enough time to get a good look at the basket. It will be from the side. They give it in, into KK. KK puts up the three-pointer, and it... No good, and at halftime, we will be Lady Cards 43, Jacksonville 21. We are with Cardinal Sports Network and Leon Smith Court at Cardinal Gym. We will step away for halftime and rejoin you on the other side. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for your halftime entertainment, the TVCC Cardets. Nails, hair, hips, heel, nails, I'm a big deal. Legs, legs, face, eyes, then race, face, eyes, you, me, you. New phone, who is girl? girl, I don't dance, I work I don't play, I slay I don't walk, I strut, strut, strut And then sashay I don't work for free That's not the tea, hunty So make it rain on me And I might let you see My nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels Nails, hair, hips, heels. Nails, hair, hips, heels. for me, twirl for me for me, girl for me, say girl for me, girl for me, say snap for me, snap for me, snap, snap for me, snap for me, snap, now clap for me, clap for me, clap, clap for me, clap for me, clap, clap for me, clap for me, clap, clap for me, clap for me. That's all. TNT. Welcome back to Leon Spencer Court at Cardinal Gym on the Cardinal Sports Network. We are coming out of halftime with the Lady Cardinals leading Jacksonville 43 to 21. Lady Cardinals with just seven players suited up today because of injuries. And Tim 
a troubling sign as we slipped. Lady Cards left the floor in the first half. Tanaya Jackson was struggling to get off the floor and needed help. So I'm thinking the Lady Cards are down to six players. Yeah, I, I think that's exactly what's going on. She's, uh, you know, just to our left here of scores row and not looking good at all in, in a lot of a lot of pain, not sure if it's that back issue. Yeah, it's definitely the back. I see they've got her wrapped up with some ice on it now down at the end of the bench. And Lady Cardinals have got six players. They've got Solomon Herrera with three fouls. So it's going to be some interesting waters that Precious Ivy's got to negotiate this second half. They're going to, Lady Cardinals like to play aggressive defensively. May have to look at that just a little bit. Well, the good news is you have got a 22-point lead. So if you come out and get a good start again, uh, you can really help navigate the troubling waters, if you will. Well, you can. You don't do anything to feed uh, Jacksonville's confidence and let them go on a little run and think, hey, maybe we can actually pull this thing out. Taking a look at the Lady Cardinals scoring in the first half, they were led by Taya Douglas with 12 points on two three-pointers. Curticia Dean had 10 points on one three-pointer. K.K. Furman had nine. Soli Herrera had six. K. Clark had six. And that wraps up the Lady Cardinals scoring. Just one, two, three, five players in scoring in for the Lady Cardinals in that first half. Of course, that's five of seven. I was, I was about <laughs> to say, I'm sitting there going, well, that's only five. And then you realize there are only seven that have been on the floor. And, and, uh, and now six. Six players uh, effectively moving forward here. So, so you hope that you get Asia Strong and uh, Tayana Jackson back quickly. I think is a little bit further than Tayana right now as far as her recovery goes with her ankle. So Lady Cardinals have an extremely difficult week this next week. They go to Angelina on Wednesday, play Blinn here next Saturday in a game we will have for you here on the Cardinal Sports Network. And the first time around, the Lady Cardinals defeated Blinn 97-86, so it was definitely a shootout. Yeah, both, both those teams know how to put points on the board. And I think Tayana Jackson had 27 in that contest. Yeah, you want to you, – you, you keep looking down at Coach Scott saying, hey, keep that, keep that good work going over there. Get them healthy. I, I jokingly said to uh, Precious Ivy in the office this week that I would get Aaliyah Hayes, the volleyball coach, on speed dial, see if she's got any <laughs> players that might be interested in suiting up. And yeah. the more and more as this game progresses and players start falling, I may not be That's as not as much of a joke as you thought about. I thought, it, I thought about it. Thought yeah. About it. yeah. So as, uh, as, as you look back over that first half, though, talk a little bit about how impressed you were to see them come out with that that great start. Well, they had laser focus, and defensively they were on their on game. We saw uh, Kalia Burrell hit the first bucket off a baseline drive for Jacksonville on their first possession. You think, oh, boy, maybe she's going to take off. She picked up two quick fouls, went to the bench for the rest of the quarter. Lady Cardinals opened things up, and now then they're up by 22. You'd think they'd have to just go totally asleep here, lose every player to fouls, not to be able to pull this one out, but there's still a quarter, a half a basketball to go. Absolutely. So we'll, uh, we'll get a chance to see it play out here in Athens, Texas. And as we look at the possession arrow to start the second half, it looks like the first possession will go to the Lady Cardinals, so they'll get the first chance to build on that lead. As we get underway here from Leon's Prince Court at Cardinal Gym, reminding you that we will have the men's game for you against Navarro coming up uh, 20 minutes after this was over. So set us up here. I'm, I'm Tim Howard. Benny Rogers with your play-by-play -play for the second half. Thank you, Tim. And as I mentioned, the Lady Curtis will have the ball. Taya Douglas will inbounds on the floor. We're going to have KK, Taya Douglas, K. Clark, Nunu. And Jane will be on the floor, Jane Gray, to start the second half for the Lady Cardinals. So uh, Jane's got two fouls on her, so she's the only player that's got to kind of be, be care a little bit careful here to start this uh, second half. And KK directs the offense. Lady Cardinals slowed it down. And very selective. Nunu did a lot of dribbling there and turns the ball over. It's going to result in Burrell laying it up for the Lady Jags for the first two points, not the start you wanted for the Lady Cards. A 20-point game now here as we get underway. Yeah, don't let her get any early confidence in this third. Jane gives it up to Nunu. Nunu for three. Can't get it to fall. Jane battles for the rebound and controls it and knocks it out of bounds off of the Lady Jags. So a great job by Jane Garay of keeping that possession alive for the uh, Lady Cards. Could not agree more. That was all hustle because it looked like, man, it's going to make a, a great play just to get control. She couldn't get it but tapped it off of Jacksonville. So good hustle. 20 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Lady Cards get it into Nunu. Nunu back out to KK up front. 
And KK turns it over and two turnovers, the first two possessions, not the way to start a half. No, it's not. And uh, Jacksonville trying to thrive on that and get something positive happening here. Lady Carlos, you ought to regain that focus that they had to start the game, refine it, I should say. Shot on the way, no good. Rebound's going to be controlled by Kay Clark. Gives it up to Nunu. Nunu's going to lay it up. Nunu's going to lay it in and going to draw the foul, so not what Jacksonville wanted. That's a good way to squelch some of that momentum. Take it back, get the uh, basket and the three-point opportunity. Nunu now with 12 points in the contest. She had 11 in the first meeting of between these two teams. Free throw attempt is up and it's no good. Rebound is live because it was just a one shot situation. So Nunu has missed at least three free throws in this contest. Eddie Carter has got to find that defensive fire that they had to start the game. Burrell with the jumper blocked by Nunu. Wow. Taya did a great job down low of keeping it alive, and the Lady Cardinals go on the attack. K for three. K Clark knocks the bottom out. Doesn't she? Nicely done. Put the three mark down for KK. Now the Lady Cardinals have regained a little bit of their footing now. And they strike so fast. Get a rebound and a push and then a three. And it all started with the block by Nunu on this end. Well done. Burrell with the running runner from the baseline. Lady Cards quickly down the floor. Jane controls the ball. It takes a faint hand to the face. KK wow. does a great job of saving the ball. Looked like Houdini up there on the tightrope. Nunu thought about the three. Five on the shot clock. Jane puts it up, draws iron, but can't get it to fall. Nunu, be ready to shoot. So good start here if they can close out. Short range jumper's good. Good look that time by number 20, Clouser. Jacksonville's coming out well here in the third. Kay Clark lays it up. Kay Clark lays it in. Good answer by Kay. Kay with 11 points in the contest. She had 11 in the first meeting, Benny, so uh, she's equaled that here with 6.59 to go in the third. And we've got a timeout on the floor charged to the Lady Jags. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, so we will keep it here at the 6.59 mark. 50 to 25, Lady Cards. Here in this Region 14 Conference Contest, we will have the men's game for you to follow. Tavera has on the scene now. I just saw Cody Hopkins, our assistant coach, uh, just walk behind me. Cody's a good guy since his second year at Navarro. Played on my golf team at Coach's Play Day two years ago when we won it. Played barefoot. And, and y'all won it, though. We won it, and he played barefoot. I, that's what's wrong with my golf game. <laughs> I didn't realize that that was the key. They can't afford shoes over there. Oh, Corsicana, okay, so. okay. <laughs> See, I thought you was, I thought you was, I was going to set you up to take a shot at me. <laughs> I mean, you owe me because I took one at you off air, which, well, you know, you're, you're, you're due. I mean, I'm, I laid it right over the net with the spikes. Kind of like Dale Hansen says, I don't care what people say about me as long as it's not the truth. <laughs> <laughs> that's, well, that's true because it wasn't true at all. It wasn't true at all. Uh, Lady Cardinals have doubled up the Jags here in the uh, third, 50 to 25. And resuming play after the Jacksonville timeout, the ball will belong to the Lady Cards. Take it. I take that back. I'm looking on the wrong end of the floor. The ball belongs to the Lady Jags. I am watching the game, honestly. <laughs> Burrell. Burrell dealing down low. Burrell lays it up, can't get it to fall. Lady Jags doing a great job of getting on the board. Short jumper, no good. Lady Cards get the rebound. KK takes it away from Jane. And KK's going to turn it over. KK's got to go the entire half because there's nobody to play for it because Janaya can't come in. Anunu can direct the offense. She needs to. 
But there are no very few options for Precious Ivy now the rest of the way. The Lady Cards just have just got to suck it up and go. Yeah, it's exactly where they're at in this one. Burrell lays it up, lays it in. Burrell, Burrell now with 10 points in the contest. Burrell is uh, really having to work to get those shots. Got that one to fall. Taya Douglas, short jumper, no good. Rebound goes to Lady oh. Jags. Just like that, the Lady Jags are attempting to crawl back into this one. Still big, a big hill to climb. Yeah, it's, it's really disheartening when you get a couple of runs together and you look up and you're still down 23. So Trinity Valley needs to do a good job to Burrell stop the run. Deals down low, can't get it to fall. Rebound goes to the Lady Jags. She dishes it off to Burrell. Burrell lays it in. Soli Herrera is going to check into the contest with Lady Carr. She's got three fouls in the game. 50 to 29, a 21 point game. Lady Carters are going to be tired by the time this is over. Going to have a timeout by Precious Ivy. She doesn't like the way this thing is shaping up now, the way the ball's not being distributed and moving around at any kind of pace. We're going to have a media timeout, so we'll step away and catch our breath and rejoin you on the other side of this media timeout. 50 to 29, Lady Cars. The media timeout, the Lady Cardinals leading by 50 to 29 count at the 5-11 mark. Lady Cardinals have uh, gotten off stride here a little bit early on here in this uh, third quarter and allowed Jacksonville to make a little bit of dent in that at one time 25 point lead just a couple of minutes ago. Yeah, see, if, uh, see how they respond after that timeout. Kay Clark misses the baseline jumper. And again, an opportunity for the uh, Lady Jags. Lady Cardinals led 43-21 at the half. Jags are dealing now. Short jumper, no good. Rebound goes to Kay Clark. She's fouled. She's no, she wasn't fouled. The ball goes out oh. of bounds off of Kay in the backcourt. Tenacious defense there from uh, Malakoff's Nike, Nakia Kelly. 444 and counting to go in this third quarter. Lady Cardinals trying to hang on. 50 to 29, short jumper, can't get to fall. Nunu pulls a rebound. Lady Cardinals need a good trip this time. They haven't had one in the last two or three possessions. Nunu goes down, kicks it back out to KK. KK over to K Clark, gets it inside to Nunu. Nunu with the move, Nunu lays it up. Nunu lays it up, but it will not fall, and she will draw the foul. Nunu's very good at attacking from down low. She can post up very easily. Yeah, she can split a defender, too. So best of both worlds, good ball handler, and then the strength down in the low post. Foul's going to go against Clouser. That's her second. Nunu goes to the free throw line, where she's not had the best of days, but she does get that one to fall. Nunu now with 13 points in the contest. Lady Cardinals led 43 to 21 at the half. Dean only had 11 her first outing, so she's now got 14 in this one. The Lady Cardinals get a, two free throws. It's what they needed just to keep that, keep that a little bit of momentum anyway. But Jacksonville's definitely on the attack here as we've got this third quarter underway. Baseline jumper. Can't get it to fall. Kay Clark with the backside rebound. She gives it up down to KK. KK can't control it, but Nunu can. Nunu. Gives it up to Soli. Soli's short jumper, no good. Soli's got to be real careful. She's got three personal fouls, as does Kay Clark on the floor with three personal fouls. Yeah, you're talking about a team that's now effectively got six in the rotation. And the three-pointer is good, this time by Kelly, number 24. 52-32, a 20-point game, 333 left here. And those three fouls by both Soli and Kay, and you just you can't afford to lose either one of them, but you especially can't afford to lose Kay. Nunu deals, lays it up, Nunu lays it in. 
And a foul coming here. I tell you what, it's just almost one of those times where it's time for Nunu to take over the game a little bit with the situation being what it is. But you got to admire the Lady Cardinals. They know there's no breathers coming for them. Yeah, they, they're just going to have to find another gear, dig deep, and and uh, see what they can do to, to accomplish that today. Taya Douglas does check out of the contest. Jane Gray checks back in. Nunu goes to the line to try to complete the three-point play. Nunu so it, now with 16 points in the contest. Looking for number 17, and she gets it. It's gut check time here with 55-32. You got 3.15 to go in this third, and a six-man rotation the rest of the way. The rest of the way, that will be it for the Lady Cards. We got two players with three fouls, both on the floor, Soli and Kay. Short jumpers up, and no good. Rebound goes to KK. KK gives it up to Kay Clark. Hay gives Good it up entry. down low to Soley, out to Jane. Jane drives the baseline and Jane lays it in. Well done. They got the entry level pass, a kick out, swing, and a basket. Nicely done. Nice job of ball movement by the Lady Cardinals that time. That's what you want. If you can draw that up and, and be effective, you're getting points and able to extend that lead. Step back jumper, no good. KK grabs a rebound on the move now. Gives it up to nice. Soli down low. <laughs> Soli's shot is blocked. A lot of contact there, but they're going to call a block. Well, that was good Good vision. Finding the opening down low. Threads the needle. Taya Douglas is going to check in for Soli. I think this is a good move by Precious here. Get Soli off the floor with those three fouls. Yeah, absolutely. Because when you start factoring fatigue into the uh, the matter, you're, you could easily. Douglas for three. Pick up that fourth, but there's an answer. Big three. Taya Douglas with 15 points, three three-pointers in the contest, 60 to 32, Lady Cards. Stay Stay Gotta feel good about the way the Lady Cards have regained their step here a little bit. Absolutely, and we talk all the time about starting and finishing quarters. And now we're gonna, gonna get her Nunu on the with a, a Hit her with the armor, she did catch her. That's just gonna be the second personal foul against Nunu. They will send the Lady Jags to the free throw line to shoot two. A couple minutes ago, you talked about Nunu taking over the game, and, and effectively, she's done hey, that Jay, in the last ah. minute and a half. Hey, Jay, Ellis go. is going to go to the free throw line, come in averaging 7.5 on the season. She's got four in the contest, now five in the contest. Where she missed a lot of the second quarter, too, with, with her in foul situation. Yeah, and, and when, you, when you think about the fact that Trinity Valley is doing this with a, a short roster and they've been able to withstand the tide. Now a chance to extend that lead. That's a great opportunity. KK for three, can't get it to fall. Nunu battles for the rebound, tips it away to the Lady, Lady Jags. It's a good effort. Not the outcome they wanted, but a good effort to even get a hand on that. Lady Jags on the attack. Shot clock violation. Boy. That came up quick. I was going to say, that was a quick. And, and we've talked about the defense of Trinity Valley all day long. There's another stop. Great effort. KK drives, draws the foul. Number 11 for Jacksonville looks, looks at the official with amazement, Kyla Higgs. <laughs> She's like, well, wait a second. I, I got a... Uh, a jump ball earlier in the game on that same move. <laughs> it's going to be a, not going to be a shooting foul. It's going to be underneath. And that will be 14 fouls now against Jacksonville. So Lady Cards would shoot the double bonus on the next foul. Lady Cards is only with one foul in that quarter so far, and I think that's very key. Oh, yeah, because you, you can, in effect, keep them from scoring without the clock moving. That's what Jacksonville would have loved to have had happen. Nunu yeah. tries to drive the baseline, has to give it up, almost throws it away. Kay Clark gives it up to Jane, and Jane's going to draw the foul like it's going to go against number 20, reaching from behind. Clouser, 105. Now, the, Jane will go to the free throw line to shoot two. A chance here to add two. Final 65 seconds in this third. Finish it. 
strong, and, and you feel really good going into the fourth. I will note across the way, we've got a bunch of recruits coming in with their families, football recruits. This is the last big weekend, because signing day is next Wednesday. It's James three free throw rims in and out. That's the folks that you're seeing coming in across the way with their families right now. And uh, you, you love to, you love to, for them to get an opportunity to, to feel the vibe and, and uh, be a part of this weekend. So glad to see them here this afternoon. And Jane makes a free throw. She's got three points in the contest, 61-33 Lady Cardinals. Just like that, they're almost up 30 again, Tim. Yeah, they, they strike in effect with such precision. It can happen in a hurry. Jumper is no good. Rebound controlled by KK. Less than a minute to go here in this third quarter. Precious is telling them to slow it down a little bit, pull it back just a bit, get the best shots you can possibly get. You're playing without your bigs. Yeah, it's it's, it's one thing to, to get a 30-point lead. It's another thing to do it with a five-man roster, six-man roster. KK lays up the shot, bounds off the back of the iron, no good. Jacksonville can play for one. They almost throw it away, oh. unpressured. Burrell drives the baseline. She's, She's a nice strong. little player. Yeah, real, she is. Real nice player. Moves good away from without the ball and then creates effortlessly. Hey, Clark saw the time is expiring, and that's going to bring the end of the third quarter. Lady Cardinals 61, Jacksonville 35. We will return with the fourth quarter here from Leon's Mission Court at Cardinal Gym. at Leon Smith Court at Cardinal Gym for the start of the fourth and final quarter. The Lady Cardinals up on top, 61 to 35 over Jacksonville here in this Region 14 Conference Contest. It will be Jacksonville basketball. And Tim, Lady Cardinals are just 10 minutes away from wrapping up another win. Yeah, the number two team in the country leading uh, Region 14, top of the conference, but number two in the nation. So a game like today when you've got a seven-man roster and then a player hey. injured, really could sneak up on you. So very impressed with the way they've they fought through that today. Yeah, the main thing Lady Cardinals have got to do now is just get healthy. Yeah. They've obviously got the team that can do some special things this year, but you got to have your players to be able to do that. you exactly. got a held ball force by guess who? Uh, getting in there again, number 15, that's Keg Clark getting it done. She's so effective. So Lady Cardinals just need to play under control here in this fourth quarter. And then Play, continue to play good defense as you saw there on that opening possession of the fourth quarter. Douglas for three. Taya Douglas for three. I don't know if the cameras picked it up, but uh, Morell's face said it all. She was closing out defensively and just looked back like, what do I got to do? Hand in the face, knock down the three. That's four three-pointers now for uh, Douglas. She's got 83 on the season, Tim. That's 83. Wow. Between that was the not two a typo. Of, between the two of us in four seasons, we couldn't hit 83. I was going to say, between the two of us in eight seasons. <laughs> <laughs> Picking up the frustration well, foul Well, I was giving there. myself the benefit of the doubt. A <laughs> little frustration foul there on the other end as she comes up empty and then goes back and fouls Nunu. Douglas for three, can't get it to fall. Jane battling for the rebound is going to be called for the personal foul, and that's going to be 
three personal fouls now on Jane. So Jane, Soley, and Kay all have three fouls. I mean, you'd think at the 9.02 mark you're in pretty good shape as you, far as that goes, but you don't want to get carried away with yourself. I uh, hear you. It's one of those things you just got to got to play play smart. Oh, yeah, I think that's going to be on KK. No, it's going to be on KK, and that's her fourth foul. So now then, see, you've got to bring in a player that's got three fouls. So it does get a little bit delicate here, folks. Yeah, a little interesting here is, uh, and, and you factor in, you know, your, your rotation's a little off, so you're playing more minutes. Now you're playing fatigue, which that's when fouls can come quickly. Three-pointer on the way. Can't get it to foul. Solely battles for the rebound and grabs it. KK directing the offense, bringing it down the floor. She gives it up down low to nice. Jane, to, to Taya. Taya lays it up, and Taya lays it in the big bucket for the Lady Cards. How about that pass? Just rips it right through. KK Beautiful. has grown up a lot in front of her eyes at the point guard position with Tanaya being out so much with injuries this season. Burrell in and out. Soli grabs the rebound. Soli's had a big game on the boards. Yeah, she has continuing to show her strength. Nunu for three. Nunu for three. Now they lighten it up here with 8.04 to go in this game. Nunu now with 20 points in the contest to match Taya Douglas. And we have a timeout on the floor charged to Jacksonville as Kaylin Boyd says, let's stop this right now. Yeah, she's trying to find an answer. Not sure if you're going to be able to when they start lighting it up like they are. 30-second timeout. Take that back. I think it's going to be a full media timeout, but we'll keep it here with 7.59 to go. The Lady Cardinals up 69 to 35. What would you say uh, is most impressive uh, about, you know, a, a game like this? I know you still got eight minutes to go, but thus far they've played about as good as you could expect in this situation. Well, they really have, and I think that's what is most impressive. They've rolled their sleeves up. They knew this is the cards they were dealt, what they were going to play today, and they've done it. And they may have to do it again two, next, both games next week yeah. against far more superior opponents than Jacksonville. No disrespect to Jacksonville because Jacksonville has beaten Angelina, and Angelina is who the really Lady Cardinals play next Wednesday night in Lufkin. So I just give the Lady Cards credit for their preparation, the way they play. they got to finish it out now. you got to, yeah. You do have to finish it. But uh, to this point, uh, they've, they've played the hand they've been dealt about as well as you could. I might mention, Tim, that the Lady Cardinal softball team defeated Galveston 12-1 to today in the San Antonio tournament. So they are now 3-0 and on the season, and that's coming after a 16-8 win over number seven Butler yesterday in the tournament. Boy, that's an impressive win. That's a, that's a statement win against the number seven, 16-7. We are back to play here in the fourth quarter under the eight-minute mark. Lady Cardinals up 69-35. Kay Clark is on the bench with her fourth foul. Little runner is wow. good. Nice <laughs> move by McGee. Yeah, it was, she hung in the air for a while, regathered herself and finished. Nunu lays it up. Nunu lays it in. She's strong to the basket. Nunu playing like the All-American that she is. She now has 22 points in the contest. Love to see her when she, she's got a, an opening or creating an opening. Burrell from the corner on the drive, lays it up, can't get it to fall, draws the foul. That's going to go against Nunu. That's three on Nunu. I think the issue is probably decided, but it might get a little tricky here for the Lady Cardinals personnel-wise before the before this thing ends. Yeah, it, it's it's looks like it, for them to come back, it would take an insurmountable. Uh, an, an effort that would be uh, historic, but could, like you said, be very tricky. Burrell now with 16 points. She came in averaging 18.6, so she's going to get her average today at this point. She's worked hard to get that 16, though, man. I mean, she has been denied so many times. You can you tell it's frustrated her a little bit, but she continues to fight. Very impressed with her athleticism. Douglas for three. Taya Douglas for three. Put it through, my goodness. Now with 23 points in the contest, that's her fifth three-pointer of the game. She's got a nice stroke when she's feeling it, just 
smooth as silk with a shot. And she's always feeling it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I tell you, that is well, well done. Three-pointer from the corner, a little flat. Long rebound is going to go to KK. KK's had a big game rebound in the basketball today, too. Every one of these players just kind of says, okay, uh, here's what's needed today. I, I'm going to step up my game in that area. Very impressed. Three-pointer on the way. Douglas can't get it to fall. Four, been seven up sixth. a little bit. Ooh, KK with a steal and lays it up and can't get it to fall. Battles for the rebound. <laughs> Going to stay with it, put it back up, and KK works hard. KK works so hard. Look at, look at her face. Oh she got a steal. <laughs> she got a rebound and a bucket all within That's, like three seconds. She's just padding her stats, folks. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. That was awesome. 76 to 39 <laughs> Lady Cards. They've got to be, they've got to be so winded right now. Oh, there's a bank shot by Ellis off the glass. Seen a couple of those today that have gone in, so counting that one. Nunu's going to direct the offense now. KK's about to give out across the way. I'm looking at her. She's trying to find any kind of air there is in this building. I'm telling you. And she turns it over. Jay gets out and knocks it away. Good, good play. Good job defenders. by Taya. Yeah, defending on that. Kay Clark's going to check back into the contest now at the 5-12 mark, 76-41. Nunu's. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Nunu wanted to come out. Well, I think she probably did. <laughs> she was probably. I think, probably she, I think she's just acting. Yeah, she's like, I, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know, they've all worked hard today. They're ready to, like you said, capture some O2. A. Clark on the floor with four fouls. And Soli's now going to have four fouls. <laughs> that was it. There's only one option on the bench for, we may see the Lady Cards finish with four yeah, players. You, you stop and think about it. What is uh, Hoosiers? <laughs> they played with four. That may be not that far fetched. First free throw attempt is good, 76-41. The nice thing is you've got a huge lead. That's, you know, the issue's decided, but you don't want to, you know. I think the foul may have been called on Jane. So Jane's got four, Solis okay. just got three. But nevertheless, okay. there are two players on the, pl the floor. It's KK puts up the shot, can't get it to fall. Precious Ivy's had to be very creative here with her lineup. It's KK comes away with the, almost comes away with the steal. Yeah, almost smart. comes away with Got the away foul. From her. You can't reach, you don't need to, if you're not in position, do not put yourself in a bad light. Come on, KK! Soli comes away with the rebound. And Lady Carlos is just so winded right now, folks. <laughs> Coach called for motion, and they looked around like, what? What, four corners? <laughs> and, and Soli decides to go on the drive and draws the foul. A good, smart, smart move to, you know, get to the free throw line. Everybody catch a little wind if you can. KK's going to come out and catch her breath, which she desperately needs. <laughs> I love KK. She, her expressions on her face just tell the story of what's going on. It does. Jane puts up a shot down low, draws the foul. Some more opportunities coming here. The yeah, two-shot foul situation for the Lady Cards. That's just the third team foul against uh, Jacksonville. So Kay Clark is on the floor with four fouls. Jane Garay has four fouls, but she's on the bench. First free, oh, well, she's at the free throw line, I should say. <laughs> Pay attention, I just want to say, is, is uh, you think she feels like, this kind of feels like San Diego weather, about mid-60s today. <laughs> Beautiful day in East Texas, isn't it? It is. And she gets one free throw to, to fall, so it's 77-43 Lady Cardinals. You just want that clock to keep, keep winding. Rolling. Stay away from fouls and injuries. You saw Kay Clark back away that time because she almost picked up that foul, or could have picked up that foul. That's a good heady play there. You, you know, you don't well, Kay's a very smart player. I mean, she really is. If anybody can play with four, she can. Under four to go here in the ball game. 
Soli with the jumper. Didn't really jump. I should, she put up the shot. Looked like she was looking to pass and then realized, hey, I'm going to have to either shoot or travel. And she put it up, almost knocked it in. Lady Carr still working on the defensive end. Burrell puts up the jumper and knocks it down. Very nice player Burrell is. Yeah, she is. She's, she, she's legit. Good, strong player. Gets to the basket, can create, can hit the outside shot. 26-point Lady Cardinal lead coming up on the three-minute mark. Nunu running the offense. KK's on the bench catching a breather. Jane puts up the three. Oh. Jane knocks down the three. She never, the net never even moved. Shot it like she meant it. Yeah, she did. She said, this is not an accident. I'm going to put that through. Good nice to see. job. Good to see. Love the confidence. Because she's going to have to play a lot of basketball with the injury situation being what it is. And I think Kay just picked up her fifth foul. Yeah, it's going to be five the rest of the way. At the 243 mark. So Kay Clark is going to foul out of the contest with 11 points and one three-pointer, but a great defensive effort like always from Kay Clark. 243 mark. So now then the Lady Cardinals are down to a five-person team and one we got a player with four fouls on the floor. And I'm out of eligibility. Thank God. <laughs> you I, knew, I knew I was going to get something from you there. You're going to set me up like that. It's going to be knocked out of the ballpark. Coach Hayes would be impressed with that spike. Are you kidding me? So, <laughs> Nunu nice. solely have three fouls, and Jane has four fouls. So if Jane picks up a foul, the Lady Cards will be down to four players. You've got to start burning some clock here. Yeah, run a, little, run a little bit of that clock down. KK with a step back jumper, no good. Soli with the rebound, keeps it alive. Jane keeps it alive. Good Nunu take. lays it up, and Nunu can't get it to fall, but it's going to draw the foul. Free throws coming here. Well, I'm thinking even if the Lady Cardinals happen to lose a player and finish with four, they're going to be okay. I don't think I've ever seen that from a Lady Cardinal team, but I I don't know either. I don't I, – you would certainly know. I mean, how, how long have you been – A long time. <laughs> I'm not going to give the years. So what are you, are you kidding? No, I <laughs> – I think that, the, you know, you're the historian of, I was of a student so many out good here. Things. I was a student out here when Lady Cardinal basketball began, so I've been here for the whole duration as Nunu misses nice. both free throws. 80 to 47. Just a huge Lady Cardinal lead. Just yeah, big, big lead and oh, away from the ball. Double foul. So that's going to be four now on Nunu. So Lady Cardinals have Nunu and Jane both on the floor with four fouls. Nobody to come in for them. It's a double foul Double foul, foul. yeah. So 209 will be interesting down the stretch here. See if finish this thing out. Nunu's just got to back off now and just play very conservatively. As you mentioned, that's the advantage of working up a nice lead. You get in a situation you don't have to play as tenacious or aggressive. Nice job down low that time by number 25. 80 to 49, Lady Cardinals. They're going to be hanging on by their hair of their chinny chin chin personnel wise. KK Good with drive. a drive, lays it up and oh. can't get it to fall. Jane battles for the rebound, gets it. And it's going to be a held ball underneath. It's going to go to Jacksonville. Wow, so a minute 27 to go here in this one. Uh, finishing it up. And Cardinals well in control, but <laughs> not much. Not much. Uh, well, it's good that they, did, that they did work early. Yes, yes. And I still would be calling on Leah Hayes, the volleyball coach, asking if she have a couple <laughs> of players that might want to play a little basketball. They've got they've got some some very uh, athletic players over there that that have the background in that. Wouldn't surprise me to see that down the stretch. Step back jumper, no good. Rebound fall for by KK. I think KK's going to be called for the foul. 
so. Now, KK just gets her second foul. Yeah, double bonus for no, the Lady Jags. No, no. Yeah, that's a good job by Precious of pulling everybody from underneath, the big, the people in foul trouble underneath. I don't want to risk anything there in the yeah. final moments of this ball game. Free throw is no good. Opportunity oh, there. I apologize, I missed number 25. That's She's not on our roster that we have. She misses both free throws. Jane gets the uncontested rebound. KK runs into her. Almost starts laughing. Yeah. Cardinal. Foul on uh, Jacksonville's number 24, Nakia Kelly. 53.1 seconds left, 80 49 Lady Cards. KK is going to go to the free throw line. KK has got. 11 points in the contest. She will shoot two. Chance to add to her total here. She does. Go. So the Lady Cardinals are going to run their record to 21 and one overall, go to 10 and 0 in conference. They've got two big games next week. Wednesday night, they go to Lufkin to play Angelina. And then, uh, Next Saturday, they're at home here on the Cardinal Sports Network, taking on a very good blend team in a 2 p.m. start. Just one down low, that, uh, but they kept fighting, get the rebound, and put back's good. Now you can't dribble it out because there's 35 seconds left, but you can use the better part of this clock if you choose to play the Lily Cardinals. Nice right, job of Nunu of anticipating Taya Douglas where she was going to be. Nicely done, exactly as they worked that to perfection. Douglas with 25 points, easily the leading scorer in the contest. Nunu swats at it. Soli grabs the rebound. KK winds up with the ball, and now the car Lady Cards will dribble it out. Final five seconds, and then we are complete. And that's going to wrap it up. The Lady Cardinals are going to score an 84 to 51 win against Jacksonville to run their record to 21 and 1 overall. 10 and 0 in conference. Jacksonville falls to 4 and 16 on the year, and 4 and 6 in conference play. When we look at the Lady Cardinals scoring. They were led by Taya Douglas with 25. She had five three pointers. Nunu Dean had 22. Kay Clark had 11. Soli Herrera had six. And uh, Jane Gray had seven, including a three-pointer. So, Tim, your final thoughts. 84-51 with a, a six-man rotation. That's an impressive win because they, they found a way to get it done. They were strong in it. And they, they did it, you know, creatively down the stretch with some foul trouble. So hats off uh, to, to Coach Precious Ivy and uh, the squad and what they've been able to do. We will have Lady Card basketball for you again next Saturday at 2 p.m. against Blinn here on the Cardinal Sports Network. We'll have the men's game coming up against Navarre in about 20 minutes. We're going to step aside now, and we will join you on the other side. Thank you for joining us here on the Cardinal Sports Network for Lady Card basketball. This has been a Cardinal Broadcasting Network special presentation.